imagine you're creating the best organization on earth to work for. What would it be like? This is no game for the global shortage of talent, a world that's increasingly complex and people rethinking their relationship with brands. For organizations to thrive, they need to attract and retain the right people. Yet research shows employee engagement levels are low. London Business School experts Rob Goffey and Gareth Jones set out to find an answer to this problem. They asked hundreds of executives to describe their ideal organization. Responses split into six broad imperatives. One, let me be myself. People are looking for something more subtle than traditional ideas of diversity. They describe an organization where different perspectives, assumptions and worldviews are welcome and individuality nurtured. Two, tell me what's really going on. Nowadays, reputation is more important than ever and more fragile. In a world of WikiLeaks and tweets, the only way to control information is to tell people the truth before someone else does. Three, discover and develop my strengths. The ideal company makes its best employees even better and doesn't stop there. Research shows that performance improves when people throughout the organization feel that they can grow through their work. They add value as the organization adds value to them. Four, make me feel proud to work here. People want to be part of something they believe in. Shared meaning doesn't stop with a mission statement. It's about forging powerful connections between personnel and organizational values. It's about what you do, not what you say. Five, make my work meaningful. Employees need to know how their work contributes to the organization and beyond, how it connects to what other people are doing and how it adds value to the business's longer term goals. Six, don't hold me back with unnecessary rules. Rules and structures should support your end purpose, not reinforce old ideas about where authority lies. People want rules that make sense and support initiative, not suppress it. These might seem obvious, but few organizations get even half right. So how do you create positive answers to that difficult question? Why should anyone work here? Nurture people's different qualities and allow individual expression. Communicate honestly and quickly. Help star employees shine and weaker ones grow. Be an authentic leader. Connect your daily work to your organization's goals. And when things go wrong, don't invent another rule. The challenges are significant, but so is the potential to thrive. What can you do to transform your organization into the dream's workplace?